Hello everybody, how are you doing? Uh, today's video is going to be a lot more shop oriented than yesterday. Uh, yesterday I was up in the attic all day and I shot a lot of footage over that and I talked a lot and you know it may not have been interesting to all of you but uh, it was what I was doing and it was the first time I'd done anything other than just go to work or go to sleep because the past week uh, has been very busy at work. Uh, I have not had any evenings at home. Uh, so it, it was good to get out and do something and that was something that had to be done. But today, today what I'm going to do is I need to do some digging first. I, I'm going to try to replace the MOSFET chip on that uh, board over there. And I used to have some of that, uh, it, it, it's a grease that you put on the top of a processor before you put a heat sink on it. And somewhere, I, I used to have a tube of that, it's in like a syringe. I gotta dig that up. If I can find that, we're gonna replace the MOSFET first. If I can't find that, that little NTC chip or whatever it was, little round one, I'll replace that one. But I really wanna replace the MOSFET because there were so many people who leaned toward the MOSFETs being the problem. I thought I would try that first. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now is dig that up and see if I can't find it. And then we're gonna work on changing those out. Set up to start working on my board here. The last piece is I need to ground myself. And um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that because I don't have a grounding strap anymore. So I'm trying to figure that part out. Well guys, I've had a great morning. I have replaced the NTC 2D, 3D chip. I don't know what that thing is. And I've replaced the large MOSFET chip on my control board. And guess what? You're gonna have to wait for the video to find out. <laughs> I know that's mean, but you're gonna have to wait for the video. But it's been a great morning. Uh, I'm done with the electronics now. I'm going to, now it's playtime. I think I'm gonna chuck up a scrap piece of Alumalite and uh, see if I can thread it. I have not tried this yet uh, outside of the supervision of my teacher. <laughs> so here I am in my own shop trying to remember what I did four months ago. But I think I'm just going to goof around for a little while today. No, no more filming, just, just kind of learning and practicing uh, in preparation for, uh, you know, maybe a video later on on how to, uh, how to do a uh, kitless pen. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Well, I'm over at the lathe and I'm just experimenting and I just cut my first set of threads with my, uh, my tap. Let me show you what they look like. I am very pleased, very pleased. Let me grab the cap from the bespoke pin I made a while back and we'll see how it threads on there. Perfect. Look at that. No wobble. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. This is pretty exciting for me. I mean, uh, it doesn't seem like much, a couple of threads, but uh, today is the day that I decided to start practicing. None of this is getting recorded. You saw the only clip here. I think I shot a photo over to Instagram, uh, but pretty well I'm just gonna practice and learn. I wanna, I wanna tap and some threads. I wanna use my dies and cut some threads. I just wanna get practice getting everything to the right size, the right dimensions, and uh, then I'll attempt to make a full pin. And once I get, get that under my belt, uh, we'll come back and attempt to make one for, for you guys in a video. I'm using parts from my first ink pen to test. There are my threads for my cap. Here are the threads for my seg section. And I'm really happy with how this is turning out so far. I've completed my first pin body. I'm really excited about this. I love how it looks. Next up, I think I'll work on creating a section well, guys, I've had a great, great evening. Um, the back half of this, let me flip it around, is what I made tonight. Well, it's hard to see. I'll tell you what, let me flip the camera around. I'll give you a better view of it. The back end of this is what I made tonight. It was a piece of scrap uh, alumalite that was sent to me by Jonathan Vest for practice. And I used the cap of the, I used the pen that I made at my class to help me size everything. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I was working on the section and I did not have the proper diameter die. Uh, so I have a die holder that is too small and I have a die holder that's too large. So I need to purchase a different die. I'm going to do that tonight. 
So I shifted from the section, this is the section that I made, off to the uh, cap. And as I was turning the cap, you can see right there inside the clear, that's a little bit of just dirt from uh, the buildup of the mineral mineral spirits or the mineral oil, which I use for lubrication and grunge off the drill bits. So I need to get my drill bits a little cleaner and that shouldn't be a problem in the future. Plus if that was a colored uh, body, you wouldn't have seen that. But I need to work on the cap and while I was cutting the cap, I need a 12 millimeter drill bit, which I do not have. So tonight I will purchase a 12 millimeter drill bit. So basically this brings me to a stopping point on this. I'm very happy with where I got. I'm very comfortable with where I got, uh, but I need to uh, get a couple of tools to be able to finish. So that's it for me. I just got the call that dinner is served. So I'm calling it a night. I'm gonna go in, have some dinner, and uh, hopefully, uh, I'll get the tools relatively quickly. Uh, I should be able to get them in a few days. I'm going to go order them tonight. And uh, I'll be back and able to build the section as well. I've got everything <laughs> except those parts now. And uh, it was my fault. I ordered the right die, but I ordered one that was a little too large for the medium-sized die holder and a little too, uh, way too small for the large. So I just have to order a different size. And 12 millimeter bit, I thought my kit would have had a 12 millimeter, but they're not metric in that kit. So, eh, it happens. Oh, uh, that's it for me. I'm going to, I, I could probably, you know what, I'll do a little measure and I may be able to come back out tonight and use one of those other bits that's close to 12 millimeter. I'll take a look at that and see what I can come up with. Okay, I had a little dinner and I came back out and I took a look at two separate bits. One was 15 30 seconds and one was 36 60 fourths. I need a 12 millimeter bit, so the first one was a little bit less and the section wouldn't fit inside the cap. The second one was a little bit more. I was still able to thread, but the problem is it was just enough wide that the threads didn't catch, it was really loose. So I think I'm gonna have to buy that 12 millimeter bit, which is okay with me. Um, you know, that, that's what I'm doing this for. That's what I'm out here testing and learning. So I'm really excited about where I'm at. Uh, I need the 12 millimeter bit and uh, I need the uh, die. Uh, what size was the die? Uh, M10-1, but I need a larger round one. So I'm going to get those ordered up tonight. They should be here soon. And uh, everything went super smooth. I just took my time and just, you know, no cameras, no nothing. Just had the music playing. And it was enjoyable. It really was. So I need to get those tools. And then I want to complete an entire pen. And I'm kind of taking some notes as I go. And uh, those notes will, will help me become a better uh, bespoke pen turner. And once I, once I get through my first pen and my notes and get everything together to where I'm, I, I'm confident that I know what I'm doing and I'm not going to, you know, tell you guys the wrong thing, uh, then I'm going to shoot a video for you. But uh, this is fun. So I need a couple more days of play, but uh, I'm enjoying myself. Well, today was really a great day in the shop. Uh, I got a chance to test a couple components on the lathe, and then I got a chance to play all day uh, with the kitless pens. I am very happy with what I learned and it's going to make things simpler the next one I go after. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I got a couple of tools that I want to order and uh, get those, you know, get those coming in. I got to find some kind of a good uh, a, a, a toolbox of some kind that can house all of this stuff. I've got a great toolbox down here on the floor, uh, but the problem is it's not big enough to house like the, uh, the uh, container of drill bits and, and, and then also to house the container for the, for the, um, um, the collet chuck and I'd like something that can hold everything uh, because I, I've been asked to come to my club and to do a demo on this once I get comfortable with it and I definitely want to do that and it'd be great just to pick up uh, one toolbox and maybe a tool or two and and go so I've got a I've got to work on that I'm gonna probably hit the big box store and just see what they have but wow, it's been a great day. I've got a pin on the lathe. I'll show it to you. I talked about it the other day. I'm making a, a Purple Heart pin for my wife's uncle. And uh, it, I finally had a few minutes, so I turned it. And I just put some BLO on it. So let me show it to you. It's really a beautiful blank. And, well, I was trying to spin it, but I realized I loosened up the headstock or the tailstock. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? And you can't tell where I split it. You might remember drilling it out. It did split, so I... Put it back together with some clamps and soaked it inside and out with some thin ca and it uh, looks like it did a great job you cannot see the repair uh it's going to be a gorgeous pin and i know he's going to love it so 
that is really all I've got tonight. I've been kind of cleaning a little bit as I go, trying to get the shop a little more organized. I really need to get some shop organization projects going. I just, you know, so much has been going on lately. But guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great evening. And uh, stay tuned for these kitless pins. They're going to be fun. Uh, I will talk to you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.